Hello, um, in this particular video tutorial, um, we will discuss the uh, passing parameter from your acceptance test to the actual step definitions uh, and then use them in the step definition uh, to actually do something in the Ruby code. Um, so in, in the previous tutorial, we went ahead and uh, created our hello world feature. Uh, then we created matching step definitions uh, for the hello world feature. Uh, so I'm assuming you all have that uh, working, uh, the hello world feature uh, with the matching steps and step definitions uh, file. So like here, Bing search is a step definitions files and I have, I'm printing out uh, one, two, four uh, when I execute my test. So make sure you have that working first and then you can work through this uh, particular tutorial. Um, so let's say in this particular example, uh, you want to pass the kind of like a, in your first tab when, when I enter Ruby Cucumber Training Columbus, Ohio. So what I'm, I'm looking for, looking to do is I wanting to pass the Ruby Cucumber Training Columbus, Ohio as a parameter to my step definitions uh, and so when I when I click on search or when I actually search uh, on the Bing homepage, uh, I shall see IntelliX software in the search results. So you can parameterize uh, or you can convert your search criteria and uh, what exactly you're looking for in the search results uh, to the parameters, uh, which you can send it uh, from your acceptance test to the step definition files. And from there, step definitions, you can actually input on the Bing page, uh, whatever input you are providing. Uh, in this case, you are providing input as Ruby Cucumber Training, Columbus, Ohio. And then when you do the search, uh, you can look for this particular text on the Bing search page. So that is uh, the, this particular uh, test is about. So in order to do that, you first need to send Rubik Cucumber Training Columbus, Ohio uh, to the uh, to the your step definitions. Um, so in order to do that, um, there is a concept called capture groups uh, in the in the in the feature files that you can do in the in, in the in this uh, scenario definition files. Any text that you wrap up with the quotes, they are converted to the um, to the capture groups. Uh, so here, and they could become your parameterized test data. So I have I I surrounded the values here uh, so that it became the test data, and I'm going to do the same thing with IntelliX software uh, so that it becomes parameterized. Now, as soon as you realize that, uh, as soon as you change it, uh, since you change your steps, you don't no longer have matching step definitions. So that's the reason uh, you are seeing a first line not highlighted because it already has a matching step definition. But the second line, uh, when step, does not have matching step definition. So it's the Ruby mind, so IDE shows as a highlighter. And it says uh, undefined step reference, enter Ruby Cucumber Train Columbus, Ohio. Uh, same with the last step, then I shall see IntelliX software. Because we change it, it's no longer match with the step definitions. So what I'm going to do is a couple of things. First of all, I'll go, I will remove my uh, when step here. I'll delete out, select it, delete it. Uh, and I'll remove the last step. And let's go and generate it again and see what it, what it does for us at this point. So I'll click again, create step definitions, being search steps. And it created uh, this particular step. Uh, let's make sure we change it to P2. Um, and I go back here. So now that highlighted thing is gone and it changes some color as well. So that is a good thing about these IDs. It makes you productive. Shows you something is correct or not correct uh, when you do something because you see everything is integrated. Uh, so let's go and do this quickly. Uh, 
and as as I said, don't get frustrated uh, if you don't see the bulb uh, icon, and make sure you are clicking right in front of I. Uh, that's where you can uh, it will all then only it will show up. If you click anywhere else, if you put your cursor and click anywhere else, then it will not show up. Uh, so I'll go and select this particular Bing search steps and it puts something like that. Uh, don't worry about it, uh, what this thing is, and we will talk about that uh, soon, uh, what those things are. But let me go and do that P step number four for now. So let's go ahead and execute. And I'm expecting to do one to four because it passed all over stuff. So now let's go back to the step definitions and see what it did for us. Um, so as soon as we parameterize, uh, we have uh, this matching step and uh, this is actually uh, and then I have the do and then I have the argument coming in from the at, uh, acceptance task and let's say what this argument is so one way you can do that the arguments are nothing but uh, temporary data holders or variables in general programming concept um, you can actually print out the value of the argument like this uh, so we'll do instead of two, we'll print p a r g, and same thing. Uh, last step, we will change because the argument name is a r g. We will change it to argument. Uh, we will when we dive into the actual Ruby programming uh, in the uh, probably the third session, you will start understanding the variables and arguments and everything else. For now, let's focus on the concepts. So this is the values that's coming from our acceptance test. And here we are trying to print the argument that's coming in from the acceptance test. So let's go ahead and uh, run our feature, see what it does for us. So now I can clearly see one, then I am printing out the actual values coming in from my acceptance test. And, you, and then I'm printing out PARG. Uh, which prints this Ruby Cucumber Training Columbus, Ohio. And then I have step number three, and then the fourth step would be IntelliX software. So now we hooked up the test data that is coming up, coming in from the acceptance test to our step definitions file. And then we can, so that we can do something about it. Uh, maybe provide input to our uh, data entry box or text box on the Bing homepage. Uh, so that's that's what we will do uh, in the next video tutorial. Uh, I will show you how you can do that, uh, or when we do actually uh, the web drivers and see how you can do that. Um, so that is all I wanted to cover in this particular tutorial. Uh, again, the capture groups that is the concepts, um, and the way you can do it is surrounding the code the values that you want to send in to as argument to your step definitions.